Well, my initial response is it is an issue on Ireland in the fact that, and it's a recognised one, I've done interviews on it before, about we do have a whole load of drugs that are approved in the UK via NICE that aren't currently available in the island. Um, that is something that the department is looking at. There's a report due to come in the next couple of months to the department meeting over whether or not we should actually just adopt the NICE guidelines and that any drugs therefore authorised by NICE should be available in the island. One of the things that has to come with that though is there is a massive cost to that. Um, in relation to the drug it was mentioned about it being um, cheaper than what they're currently on. Obviously I'm not aware what that individual's currently on but if that is the case then there is then a case that individual funding requests can be made. And if a consultant actually goes via the process that's in place, one of the things they have to do is actually show where how it's going to be paid for out of the existing budget. So personally, I would say if they can actually show that that particular drug is cheaper than what the patient is currently on, that would give a strong case um, it's not decided politically in relation to drugs. We have an independent committee called the Clinical Recommendations Committee that looks at what drugs are available on the island and whether they believe there's benefit to patients. Adopting the NICE guidelines, you said, would come at a huge cost. Mm. What, what kind of cost are you looking at? Well, that's what's being priced up now. I mean, you could be talking millions of pounds a year. Um, so, But like I say, in this particular case, with this particular drug, if what the patient is saying there is correct and that it is cheaper than what they're currently on, the consultants do have the ability to actually do what's termed an individual funding request where they can put a form into the CRC stating that for this patient there would be not just patient benefit but also in terms of how it would be funded. It could be funded from existing budgets because it's cheaper than what the patient is currently receiving. Referring just broadly though to those guidelines because of course this is one example about this specific case but you know these guidelines would affect a number of different uh, medications. They so, would indeed. So if you're talking millions of pounds is, is that why it hasn't been done yet so far? I think it I think it has because again like I said the difficulty is I think it's a case of you either we either adopt it and say yes we do everything that NICE um, authorises or we still do it on an ad hoc basis as to what funding is currently available. You, I don't think there's a middle ground. Because, well, there's no funding available, is there? Well, there is, because, I mean, within the, within the drugs budget as well, Treasury gave us extra money last year for drugs, which we have been utilising this year. Um, but I think the important thing is that we actually do an overall look at what drugs are available and see if we can mirror NICE and if we are to do so, what that cost is. But it is important it's put out there that there is a cost to doing that. And uh, drugs are a lot more expensive than I think people sometimes realise. What is to stop certain people going through what uh, Enid was saying she's going through from going to the UK and acquiring drugs there and bringing them back to the island? Well, in that sense, they won't be prescribed because they're not part of the UK NHS. They're not a resident within the UK. Um, so my understanding is they won't get it prescribed by their GP or consultant from the fact that they're an Isle of Man resident. Right. But if I suppose if they're applying for that independent funding, they would be able to get a number of referrals or, or things like that from their doctors and specialists there? Well, yes. I mean, obviously, if... If they, it would be the consultant based over here on the island that would complete the independent funding request. But if he felt there was evidence from they were being seen by a consultant in the UK and that consultant could provide evidence, then obviously they can form that can form part of the evidence trail to the CRC. Quite deliberately, we have an independent committee that looks at this. So it's not political decisions that are made as to which drugs are available. It's done on, by a clinician's 